One of the most watched shows in the country is returning for an action-packed ninth season. Here's an early look at The Amazing Race Canada. Excuse me, did I say Winterpeg? I meant Winnipeg, Manitoba. My home province, and welcome to season nine of The Amazing Race Canada. You saw them there. There's a new batch of teams ready to take on the challenging and rewarding course on The Amazing Race Canada, but the question is, who has what it takes to make it to the finish line? Olympic gold medalist and beloved host of the show, John Montgomery, is joining us bright and early from Victoria this morning with a <laughs> scoop on the newest season of The Amazing Race Canada. Good morning, John. True story. It's early here, but I'm happy to be with everybody there. Ah, we're so happy to have you. Hey, over the last two years, an average of 1.6 million people have watched The Amazing Race Canada every season. What makes this show so much fun to host? Oh, to host? Uh, I thought you were going to say to watch. You, you caught me off guard there. To host? I mean, I get to celebrate Canada. And it is something that we can all collectively lay claim to. It's a patchwork of cultures and communities that make this the greatest place on planet Earth to call home. And, and I get to celebrate it each and every second of every episode when we're, on the, when we're running the race. I'm so glad you answered that. I know why it's so much fun to watch, because the challenges are intense. You get to see this beautiful country that we get to call home. Uh, the teammates are so, like, the relationships between them are so much fun to watch. Now, you yeah. like challenges, John, on The Amazing Race. So I have one for you right now. Okay. If you could choose three words to describe season nine, what would they be and why? It would be um, uh, Canadiana. It would be... Uh, let's call it um, cerebral, and it would be physical. Cerebral and physical. Interesting. The Canadian one I got, I wasn't expecting those other two. Why would you say <laughs> cerebral? And I guess I can guess why you say physical, but why cerebral? Because you got to play it smart. Not only do you have to be clever to actually read what's in those clues and read between the lines and think flexibly, but you have to be clever in how you're going to lever the situations, how you're going to lever the gameplay to, to, uh, to take it to your advantage, to still make friends and play in the way that we've become accustomed to watching these racers race it, which is with a Canadian flair, shall we say. And uh, you got to be physical because you got to step to the post. We are leaving nothing to chance and we are putting you through your paces and grinding these racers into a fine pulp for your viewing pleasure well that's part of why it's so much fun to watch because you put yourself in that position and think could i do that so yeah. john you've watched countless teams since you started hosting the show all the way back in 2013 if you could cast now the ultimate duo what qualities do they need to have to win the race well they gotta have the uh, the can-do attitude or the capacity to begin to believe, like a Martina Sau. Uh, they would have to have the, the grit and determination of, uh, uh, of all the teams that we've seen that have ended up in the final three. You don't make it to that final leg and certainly don't cross the finish line first without grit, resolve, determination, but the ability to fight nice, to be able to agree to disagree and move on. And uh, all of those qualities are exhibited in different levels in the in the racers that we've seen so far. And if you can strike that right balance, hmm. you'll be there on that final leg. If you are thinking of being part of a team, make sure you're listening to John here. John, do you ever think you'd want to step down from hosting duties and actually partner up with somebody and do the amazing race yourself? If given the opportunity, in a second. Really? Okay, who would <laughs> your partner sure. be? This is a fun game to play. Who would your partner be? My ride or die. Gotta go with Dish, my wife. Oh, I mean, and you would do this with your wife, because I don't know if not my husband and I could do this. But I'm well, glad she and I have traveled the world for skeleton racing. Uh, we've traveled with two kids now, which I think if you can do that, you can do the amazing race, Canada. It, it, getting out of your own backyard with two kids yeah. that are uh, knee high to a grasshopper, that's your own amazing race. So for all you parents out there, if you can do that, you can do this. That's the challenge that's missing. Do one of the legs of the race with <laughs> toddlers. <laughs> Thank you, John, yeah. for joining us from BC this morning. A reminder to you at home, The Amazing Race Canada will premiere tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern and Pacific right here on CTV. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.